There are many different ways to grow food in a Four Seasons greenhouse and many different types of greenhouses to choose from. We decided to go with the Four Seasons Geodesic Dome by Arctic Acres. It assembles quick, known for being used in our Arctic tundra. Being able to withstand heavy snow loads and shed snow easily, these are a great choice for homesteaders and families alike looking to grow food year round. To start, we built ours on a gravel ring. Uh, there are many different ways to build your geodesic dome. You can do a concrete foundation or ICF. We decided to go with the gravel ring instead. Due to cost, upon receiving the kit, you'll have everything you need to build a Four Seasons geodome, except for the metal for the pond and the undersoil ventilation kit. Everything else is provided and the instructions you do have to go over thoroughly and make sure you read and double read and don't forget to put on the seam tape that goes on the outside of every triangle. We forgot this step as it was not in the instructions and it was in an email provided to us in the previous. Once you have your foundation or gravel ring level is when you start assembling your geodesic dome starting with the outer wall, exterior walls, getting them square and plumb and level, then moving on to siding them and starting on the triangles. Once you get the first ring complete, then you can move on to the second ring and so forth until you get to the top. Then we started installing our glazing, which we found out we did backwards. We should have started at the top and worked our way down. But, like I said, go over your directions thoroughly and make sure you do as much research as you can to find out what works for you. Once we got the dome up and assembled, we moved in as fast as we could to start growing for this year's grow season. Normally we grow things in our garage with the LED lights hung above to get things started for the season, but this was a big change and an exciting one. After it was all sealed in and the events were installed and the solar was hooked up, we were primed to get things going and building our beds to fill with dirt so we could start growing our fresh vegetables and fruits. With these domes, your permaculture is increased by, by doing a Four Seasons Geodome, being able to grow food year round for your family and friends. What is permaculture? Well, it's creating and maintaining an ecosystem that thrives year round while using holistic and natural methods and working with nature, not against it. The Hydrolite store and uh, we ordered some Chrysopia. Ordered some Chrysopia, which is I think green lace wings. So we'll use those to combat our aphid problem. Once the beds were built, we had to focus on getting everything ready for winter as winter comes fast here in Alberta. Six months is really all we get for growing in the outside air temperature drops below freezing. We decided the best way to heat our dome in the winter would be natural gas, coupled with heating with wood to substitute the cost. So we went with a 50,000 BTU natural gas propane heater, and we went with a older wood stove that is a catalyst, catalytic, so it does create lots of heat, hold the heat for long periods of time, anywhere from six to four hours. Uh, vented it out one of the panels in the roof and sealed it up like you would on the outside of a house with double wall going through the center. In the pond we hooked up an electric heater to keep the pond at 18 degrees year round. In the summer months we will hang a shade cloth above this whole open area which will block the amount of sun that the pond gets to keep the pond cooler and decrease the amount of algae that will grow in it. We also just started hooking up our aquaponics. So we have strawberries growing. We can also put peppers and other things that like to be soaked in nutrients and water and that the roots won't rot. And then once we figured out that we can grow food in here year round, we decided let's try things like citrus and uh, we are gonna be heating it with natural gas. So we may as well try banana tree and see if we can make this a subtropical geodesic dome. Uh, we have struggled with aphids and mealybugs and spider mites because it's cold outside and warm in here. The humidity raises to 60 to 60 percent. Uh, with the wood stove, it goes down to 40 to 50 percent, so that's good. Um, but the biggest thing we're having trouble with is keeping things like our spinach, broccoli, uh, all those all those really delicate like peas, 
delicate uh, fruits and vegetables seem to get attacked really bad. And Chantal is battling our citrus mealybugs bugs right now. On Tuesday, we will be getting some nematode. We'll show you what a citrus mealy bug looks like. So it's this white creature right there, skeleton-y looking thing. Best thing to do is just, uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> just squish them. So yeah, we've been using the wood stove to heat. Uh, like I said, it's minus 30 outside right now and it's, it's cold. And when you open the door, it's instant burst of, oh, even the door has trouble opening. Oh, it's an instant burst of just cold, cold mist, right? And here's outside, just a frozen tundra. There's the dome. Spraying me. That wasn't nice. <laughs> Gotta have fun still. Oh yeah. It's one thing I love about being out here is it's, you know, we're in the middle of winter. We don't get much greenery in winter and it's 23 degrees in here and it's minus 30 outside. So there's a 50 degrees difference between our, inside and outside. Our number one biggest mistake was not going with a larger dome to put like a resting hammock area in because I mean that Agreed. would have been just fantastic and another thing i would have done differently building a geodesic dome i would have went with a concrete in floor heat heated by a wood boiler system that mm. that will be our goal for our next geodesic dome if we build another one uh it might be in the future we'll see if we ever move However, build another homestead we did look into that and us being that we're in a subdivision on county residential zoning they wouldn't allow us to do a wood boiler system because our property, uh, there was too much buildings or trees within a certain distance and everything had to be spread out. Yeah, so wood boiler wasn't, uh, we weren't able to do that here. Um, so that's too bad. But uh, what we did with the wood stove and the heat with natural gas, I mean, it works. Um, the only thing, like I said, I would love to have a concrete pad. We have a concrete pad in our house heated by our uh, boiler and it works tremendously well big cost cutting savings by having a slab that's heated no leaf left unturned i'm going over every last little leaf on that tangerine tree yeah, it'll be nice having oranges, or oranges, fresh oranges, fresh kumquats, fresh bananas, blueberries, blueberries. Pretty much have it all, corn, you name it. Plus our crops we grow outside in the summer. Oh yeah, of course everybody has an outside garden, but to be able to grow this year round. So yeah, building a geodome has been one of the best things uh, we've done for our family uh, and our homestead. It's given us ample amount of opportunities to grow anything and year round and to pick and choose what we need, when we need it and have the option to grow it year round. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that, smash that like button, subscribe, follow us along on our uh, adventures, uh, homesteading, living off the land and seeing what uh, we can produce and strive to be a happy, healthy family and bring in the new year with uh, great wellness and uh, prosperity and from our family to yours, have a good one.